doing a spell for sleep and it's very simple it's going to require very little effort on your part so you can just relax and allow yourself to sink into this lovely space I've put my pyjamas on I've taken my makeup off because A I'm really tired my little girl's really poorly at the minute and I've not slept very well for the past few days so this is as much for me as it is for you but also I just feel like well I did a live um, a few days ago where I just turned up in my pyjamas and I loved it because it was like low effort and as much as I love getting dressed up, putting my makeup on and making myself feel like super fly I believe it's really valuable for myself to show up how I look most of the time which is in my pyjamas and also this is for sleep so let's just appreciate our natural form our pyjama life so put your comfortable clothes on Join me in this wonderful space and I'm going to help you get a really peaceful night's sleep, okay? We're going to do some Reiki to start with. I've got just some really basic tools. We're going to do a spell jar. So it's just, again, I just think magic should be really, like, it's simple. A lot of it is to do with the intention. Witchcraft and magic does not have to be complicated. It does not involve huge rituals all the time it can be really just done with the like the tools that you've got in your home and uh, excuse me while I scratch my eyebrow and that's what magic is it's like using the day to day things around you to create something special to, to set an intention and to deliver that intention um, inside so we've got a spell jar crystals, candles, sage, smudge you know all the usual uh, spiritual toolkit and let's let's just get into it get yourself comfortable if you've not already you know pause it if you want to take a bath or put your pajamas on get comfortable in bed I want this to just be all about you getting some sleep Okay, darling, let's start to ground and just get into the body, shifting our attention out of these racing thoughts into the soles of your feet. As always, we just like to start to ground. Just take a few deep breaths, shrug your shoulders down. And again, just letting all that go, letting the day go. Allowing yourself to take a second to recognize this time is for you. You've chosen to create space for yourself to relax and that's something to be really grateful for and just pulling pulling that energy down into the feet the soles of your feet just feeling all that energy from the day just drain down through your body all that tension all that stress all those thoughts and worries just dropping down through your feet as we allow everything to just return back to the earth and just meeting that vibration of the ground that gravity that earthly deep energy, just allowing that to meet your feet and just placing that awareness, nothing we need to try and control, nothing we need to 
fix or create in this moment, just simply observing the breath, observing our connections, we just take this second to find stillness, to invite peace and clarity into the mind so that we're ready for our intention. And now just without moving your attention, just connecting to that inner voice that channel which knows from the heart and stomach and we ask the question what is my intention tonight? and whatever that first thing is that comes up and I want you to hold that in your heart, in your mind's eye and it can be anything doesn't have to be, I want to fall asleep, but that's probably why you're here. But it might be just wanting to release something. I want to forgive, I want to relax, I want to accept, I want to create something new tomorrow. I want to see how good life can be in the morning. So I'm just going to start with some Reiki symbols and then I'm going to do a little smudge clearing and invite our elements and spirits to join us so that we can pass into peaceful astral dream state. in those emotional and mental physical symbols and that distant symbol so that this can reach you through time and space And I'm also going to bring in a grounding symbol just to help you reconnect to that earth. And that's going to pull you into your physical body, which is in need of rest, shut down right now. And just opening up now as we clean this space. I'm going to bring in some smudge. I brought my feathers today instead of my sweeping brush. Thought it was a little bit more gentle, uh, angelic, and representing our intention to achieve a beautiful dream state okay. I'm just using our abalone shell 
to help with any emotional dilemmas or worries we're just going to use that to remove anything while we clean And just claiming that space around you. I'm just going to bring it around the back of your head, down the back of your neck, and shoulders, and arms. Just wrapping you up nice and cozy in a pure, clean energy. dreamiest dreams tonight, I promise. Nice and relaxed. Perhaps you won't dream at all tonight. You'll just sleep heavy and, and deep. You'll get a rest that you need. Do a little sweep through, just taking it out, any of that busy day energy. Sweeping down Sweeping down Now I'm going to call in our elements and our associated spirits, our guardians and our angels to not just to join us in this space but to offer us their support and protection. And we're going to start with our east as always. And I am using some incense to represent our air element. Um, these are some really beautiful smelling sticks I bought. There are, um, one's called Fairy Dust and the other one is Fizzy Pop. <laughs> We're going to use some Fairy Dust. Um, uh, we can kind of include that in our magic. Call upon the elements 
of the east spirits of air spirits of intellect of clarity of intuition foresight I call upon your power And now moving on to the south, our element of fire. Call upon the element of fire, spirits of the south, spirits of vitality and strength, of passion and action. Please lend us your powers. Hail and welcome. Call upon the elements of the west and spirits of water, spirits of intuition, of wisdom, of rest and calm. Please lend us your powers. Hail and welcome. Call upon the elements of the north, spirits of earth, spirits of grounding and confidence, of stillness, please lend us your powers, hail and welcome. As we bring in the elements, we call upon the angels, the spirits, the guardians, the watchtowers, the maiden and the mother and the crown, to join us in this sacred space tonight. Our intention is for deep, peaceful sleep. Please allow our intention to manifest tonight. Support us in achieving our dream state. 
when we ask that any healing be needed in this space tonight in order to achieve this intention be delivered in abundance with love gratitude and confidence and I invite your angels to step forward to place their hands upon your shoulders in this moment now so that you may notice their presence, feel their love and protection, feel the support as they embrace you. Mm. I invite our ancestors to walk forward as well and support us in their delivery of any wisdom or messages that we might most need to hear. To offer their grounding energy. So that our physical body can relax and deepen into a most restful state. And I thank our angels and guardians for being there for being here right now. Thank you for your protection and your love. And now just starting to pull out any overactive energies that would stop you from falling asleep. As the mind starts to calm, it starts to slow down, and your body starts to become heavier and heavier, every breath softening the muscles throughout your body and your eyes, tension being released from your shoulders. sending out any excess energy through the palms of your hands and just knowing that that is being released and we're just brushing gently down taking away that busy day energy we're going to start to put together our spell jar I'm going to start with just some salt for our earth and it's cleansing purification and preserving properties I'm using some pink Himalayan salt but if you want to recreate this yourself, you can just use any salt. And if you've not got any salt, throw some soil in. Anything that's earth, of an earth element, will work fine. Don't be attached too much to having a spell being exactly how you know how you think it should be. It all comes from inside. It's a little tip. Losing our salt. And with spells, it is literally all about intention. Because the physical side of it is just kind of using something that helps us to see. It's, it's something that helps us to visualise the manifestation that we're actually doing. Spell casting is words. Words are creation. And we do this daily. 
So everything that we have in our reality, everything that we want, everything that we don't want, everything comes from our voice, it comes from our words. Spells are powerful, words are powerful. I talk about this a lot. We don't always get it right. We speak a lot of things into existence that we say that we don't want. So, oh, just another witch tip. Be careful of your words. And be mindful of what you want to create. And, you know, be kind. Be kind to yourself, be kind to your mind. Okay, so we've got our salt now. <clears throat> We're going to use some chamomile. I literally only had the tiniest amount of chamomile left. There's a couple of little tiny flowers left. Because I drink a lot of chamomile tea. Fresh dried flowers are the best. And super easy to get hold of. You can get like a huge pack. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about the tea. Chamomile, beautiful. Really wonderful for sleep. And I love to forage for this in the like the late spring, summer. Um, I haven't had much chance. Well, I have had chance, but with a toddler, it's been quite a challenge this year to get out foraging. So I cheap and bought it on Amazon. So in we go with our chamomile. Just sprinkling that in with the intention of this creating that really deep peace. Just layering up that jar. So we've got our grounding and our tea. This is going to bring us ever so close to hitting the hay, dropping off. And I've got some, I was going to use dry lavender because it's much better to use dry, dry flowers, but you know, in a pinch, didn't have any, so we're using lavender essential oil. Again, it's just to bring in all those aids for sleep, to set the intention that we are going to have the most beautiful sleep possible. So just again, just kind of winging it as I go. And I'll just take a quick whiff. Oh, just, I know this is camera. We're just pretending you can smell it. But I know your olfactory senses will know and recognize the smell of lavender. So just visualize that smell coming into your nostril. really good to keep a little tiny muslin bundle of dry lavender in your pillowcase if you're having bad dreams as well you can put a couple of drops on but just be careful I would probably dilute it because it can be a little bit wild and burny on your eyes so I'm just gonna pop a couple of drops in there Just let that all mix in. It smells wonderful. And now, so we're just going to pop in some amethyst, which is really good for removing those emotional worries, calming that anxiety, creating a really peaceful state for sleep. So we're going to place our amethyst crystal in there and we've got some clear quartz to purify and clean the space that we are sleeping in let's just give you a little clean down before we pop it in just place in uh, how clean my jar is an old honey jar. I love to keep jars to you. I've got so many jars. I'm always like, I'm going to use 
this flat my apothecary but then I always lose the lids and then any jar and then lastly uh, the only piece of smoky quartz I had is my big point so we're going in with this again this is going to remove those negative energies clean the space remove those anxieties and worries and it's a really powerful crystal for sleep so we want this in our jar okay so we've got three crystals our flowers of salt and our lavender here in our jar so we are going to work in our intention now you don't have to say a rhyme or a specific limerick or whatever it is you know that spell books would have you believe this is all about casting your intention into this jar and you can do this yourself at home or just go with whatever me and spirit decide Our intention for this spell is to receive the highest vibrational sleep possible. I wish for our dreams to be deep, glowing with light and love. This spell jar is our intention it will manifest deep, powerful sleep. We're so grateful for this spell and its magic. We're so grateful for the magic of the universe. For the ability to speak our truth. To speak our reality into creation. I'm so glad you had a wonderful sleep that this spell gave you the relaxation that you needed. I'm going to keep this jar by your bedside tonight and the angels will pour in more love and protection. With our intention may it be with the help of spirit our guardians of the elements we accept this healing we accept this sleep into our reality and as within so without as above so below as the darkness so the light and as the universe, so the soul. And blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. And now we trust that this spell is in motion. We trust that that intention has been received. We don't need to continue thinking about it because you are already on your way to the deepest sleep you've had in a long time. You're assisted by every power in the universe in achieving this. And that intention is set, the call has been answered and is being delivered right now. I'm going to seal this with some Palo Santo smoke is binding 
everlasting. We're protected by love and light. Always. So. And that's our spell jar. So if you want to create one, you can just pop it by your bedside next to your lamp underneath your bed. You can also do the same thing but in a little muslin bag and pop it under your pillow or your mattress. But for now just send in that energy of that spell to you. And while you allow that to integrate I am going to finish by cleaning down with some selenite just inviting that light, that loving energy so that your dreams can unfold in an angelic loving way Bringing that around your crown, starting from the top, coming down, passing through the chakras of a nice and balanced. And you're gonna wake up so refreshed. You're gonna feel like a new person. Start the day off right. You're gonna wake up, drink some water, eat something nutritious, allow yourself some time in the morning just to hear the birds sing, to observe the trees swaying in the breeze and if there's no trees just see the clouds pass by in the sky notice the sun and the presence of nature that surrounds you in whatever form it does I like to remind you as always, I know that you are loved and you're safe and this moment now you are safe and secure If you need a little bit more time to fall asleep, you can always start it again. I'm not, never trying to force anything. And if you're already asleep, beautiful. I'm going to send healing to your dreams, to your body. know that I am with you always and if you need me again you know where to find me I'm gonna let you sleep